Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, today I thought I would set up my new wireless keyboard and mouse with you. I've had this for a long time. It's been sitting on my kitchen bench waiting for me to set it up. Uh, it's this honey, I think that's the colour, honey coloured wireless keyboard and mouse set. It's from a shop here in Melbourne called Mitt My Desk and the brand of the keyboard is Mofi, M-O-F-I-I. And yeah, I thought we would do it together on camera. So let's, so let's see. I'm gonna try a couple of things today. And I'm also setting up my desk, so um, stay tuned for that. So I come to this nice white box. I have actually opened it before um, in a previous video, so I've seen what it looks like inside. And it is so pretty. It's just got this like vellum over the top with the Mofi logo on it and here is the beautiful keyboard now one thing I wanted to point out is the mouse in the picture is two-tone but in real life it's not it's just a single color which is fine but just thought I would point that out in case that's something that you're interested in I'll just take the components out and move the box away uh, so the inside of this box is just foam so that I can remove so actually that's awesome. I've been looking for a skinny box to store stuff in, so that's great. Okay, so just before we put the batteries in, I just wanted to show you the keyboard itself. It's quite compact, uh, not super small, but, but pretty compact compared to some. As you can see, hexagonal shaped keys, which I absolutely adore. And um, the keys that are normally wide are double width um, hexagons, but joined together. And here's our cute little space bar at the bottom. And on the back you can see it's got these little rubber feet. The ones at the back are slightly higher than the ones at the front so it does tilt the keyboard up very slightly. And we've got some buttons here as well. Is that a button? I'm not sure if they're buttons or not actually. We're going to find out together. There's no instructions um, but I think that shouldn't be too hard to work out. The mouse, um, it actually feels like a quite a nice scroll, um, decent click. And um, in the back here is the dongle that you use to put into your computer. So let's get started with the batteries. I will just take the cover off of here. So in this one, we have the two AA batteries. So I have those here. And of course, I don't have scissors, but I do have a craft knife. Okay, so that's the batteries in there, and then we'll just put the larger battery into the mouse. Let me just... Um, like so. I'm going to lit up straight away. And I'll take my little dongle out. And let's see. So... It doesn't appear to have, look, I was wondering if this is a switch here, but it doesn't seem to be. So it feels like it might just always be on. I'm not sure. So let's connect it to a computer. Now I have two computers here. I have my Dell and my Mac. Um, I'm pretty sure it's not gonna work with the Mac. It just says in the back that it's Windows compatible. So I'm just gonna pair it with my work computer. So I'll just attach the dongle. This computer thankfully has um, USB slots in it. Okay, my computer has booted up. So let's see if the mouse is connected. Yes, it is. I can see that mouse moving around on screen. And of course it's my work computer. So Teams is opening in the background. <laughs> uh, <laughs> And I'm just going to open a blank document and just um, have a go at typing something. So let's see if I can type without making any errors with this keyboard. Can I? It's working. Um, the shift button doesn't. Oh, there it goes. Maybe I'm just doing something wrong. Can you see here the lights come on? That seems to be my caps lock light. Put that, bring it up closer to the camera so you can see. 
And the other light there, I'm not sure what that one's going to be. I thought it might be the on, you know, to tell me that it was on. But uh, anyway, let me just have another go at this. Yeah, this shift button. Oh, that's not a shift button, Desley. So on my computer, the shift buttons are here, but this is up. Um, this is the up button, obviously, because it says up, down, right. Okay, so it's a bit weird. To, oh, there's the shift button. Oh my goodness, I'm stupid. All right, cool. That's better. Yeah, it is a bit tricky to get used to not having the shift key here and having the shift key there instead. But that's okay. It'll just um, it'll just mean I have to get used to it, no problem. Um, okay, so as you can see, we have all the pl um, play buttons here for music and whatever. We have our volume controls here. We have a home key, search, a mail, which I have to try, and the calculator. Um, not sure how that works. Oh yeah, it brings up the numbers on my screen. Okay, and then we've got a favorites. Um, what I assume is um, screen share or you know PowerPoint turning on the slideshow and scroll lock and a pause button. Okay, cool. So I am a Mac user, um, but I obviously have a Windows computer for work, so I use both intermittently. Um, but my love is for Mac computers. So I did buy this hoping to be able to use it for my um, oh, so the win button opens the start menu on my screen. Um, I was hoping to use this with my Mac but no such luck. Okay so I'm going to try that now. So that works really nicely. The mouse has a really nice feel and I've got it on my um, desk pad here but it does have a very nice feel and the scroll is very nice as well. I'm not sure what this middle button's for. If you're a Windows user and you know what that, that button there is for, please let me know. My friend did tell me what he thought it was, but I can't remember what he said. All right, don't save. And I'm just going to shut this back down again and we'll switch it out for the Mac. Okay, so what I have here is my MacBook Air and, oh, it's so beautiful. And of course, being a MacBook Air, it doesn't have any USB slots, so I have to use this um, hub type dongle, um, which plugs into the two USB slots, USB-C, sorry, slots on my on my Mac, and they are then it becomes powered as well once it does that. If anything do, did need power. Okay, so I've plugged it in and it says your keyboard cannot be identified and will not be usable until it is identified. To identify, click continue. Let's have a go. Okay, so the mouse works no problem, but it's telling me the keyboard won't work. So, it looks like it can't be used. I mean, I don't really want to mess up the, I don't know if it's going to mess up the keyboard or what. So, let's go with it. It's okay. So, I don't necessarily need to use it for this computer. It would have been nice, but obviously I can't. So, if you, um, so yeah, so if you were wondering, uh, the, this Mophie keyboard can't be used with the Mac, I believe. And it does say on the back of the box down here that the system that it's compatible with is Windows um, 7, 8, 10. Um, so yeah, I should have looked at that before I purchased it, but still, it does make my work desk look pretty cute. Um, and actually, I'm working from home at the moment, so that's this is going to be on, on my home desk with this beautiful pink mat, and it's going to look super cute. But when I do go back to the office, I may take this with me, depending on if I like it. Like, let's see how we go with it. Um, I may take this with me and then get something Mac compatible for home into the home setup where I where I normally um, would be doing, you know, YouTube videos and designing um, for stationery and stuff like that. So, yes, that's that. Let's leave it at that. I will close this down. And so, um, yeah, that's the keyboard and mouse set from Mofi, M-O-F-I-I. Uh, works super well with Windows computer, does not work with a Mac computer. We probably knew that already, right, um, by reading the back of the box. <laughs> but I just wanted to check just in case it was possible that I could use it for that. So um, I'm 
currently putting together a desk, um, a quick desk tour via Reel on Instagram. So I'll, I might repurpose it for a YouTube short as well, just so you can see it here on YouTube. But this will be included in that Reel. So um, yeah, pop on over to Instagram if you like and have a look. It might go up there sooner than it does here. But uh, let me know what you think of this super cute keyboard. I can't even, it's so adorable. Um, yeah, that's all. Okay, thanks guys. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all again super, super soon. Bye.